My name is Molly Golden. I'm the president and founder of Gummo Inc. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today we're talking about wrapping up Christmas organized. What do I mean by that? Well, it's all about the containers. Getting ready to take down this tree. You can't see it, but half of the lights have gone out. So I've already written on my list for next year, replace living room tree. And we try and spread out the undecorating of the house over a week's time so that it doesn't cut in too much to the fun we'd like to make sure to have with the kids this week. So day after Christmas, I'm starting with taking down one of the trees and putting one of the rooms back together. And I thought now would be a great time to show you some of my storage secrets. Number one, make sure to have storage containers for the ornaments labeled for each of your children. I love these because first and foremost, the kids can handle them. The snap cases make it really easy for them to get up and go. And whether we're decorating or undecorating, as the items are coming off the tree or going onto the tree, the children know that they're their ornaments. We have two trees. One of our trees is purely children's ornaments, so you can see why this matters. The portability and that being able to navigate that independently definitely is a great thing. Second, make sure that you have storage containers that actually fit the items that you have. I've started buying the larger rolls of wrapping paper. Maybe you have too. Just because it was a great deal, just because I like the paper, definitely does not fit in my container anymore. So instead of a stand-up container for holiday paper, I need to invest in a flat container, often called an under-the-bed storage container. Mine don't store under the bed, it's all up in the attic seasonally. But the point is, make sure that you have a container that adequately fits the items that are designed to go in it. And then number three, make up a rolling cart like I have for all the other things that make up your seasonal items. You can't really see it very well from the angle of the camera. But this is just a little four drawer rolling cart. And in it I have holiday cards, I have um, the little tags to go on gifts, I have hostess gifts that I might stock up on, like picture frames and whatnot. And then I also have just any sort of special holiday item like notes to Santa, special stamps. This is Holiday Central right here and all year long. In fact, even things like treat bags would go in here. So all year long, and especially this week when I might be stocking up, I'll put those supplies in this cart. And then next year, I'll pull out this cart first before I go off to do any teacher gifts, before I bake any cookies for neighbors or peanut butter balls, whatever it is, even before I do the Christmas litter, just to make sure that I might not have already planned ahead the year before. And you know me, it's usually full when I pull it out every November, and that's a good thing. So I hope these three tips to make sure to have portable, kid-friendly ornament storage, to make sure to have wrapping paper storage that actually fits the size wrapping paper that you have and to create a holiday central cart for all of the things that you stock up on to make sure that you're ready for next year. If you do these three things as you're wrapping up your Christmas, it'll be very well organized next year when you start it all over again. I hope these tips help you. Leave us some comments about the best tips that you have for holiday storage and organization and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for stopping by.